So you want to play a comp that you can just force over and over no matter what angle you are in, since there are potentially three or more carries in that comp. Well, you came to the right place, because I, Exterior, will teach you how to play Duelist Comp. In this video, we are going to cover the strongest items, strongest units, and strong as augments. Okay, for the items, I know this looks kind of cluttered at the moment, but it's because we can have either a Volibear carry, a Kiana carry, Lee Sin carry, or even a Tristana carry. Depending on the circumstances, you play certain carries. So we're gonna start off with Volibear for his best in slot is Bloodthirster. This item gives him Omni Vamp, AP, and a shield if he gets low enough. This item is very strong for melee units, so they can keep staying in fights a lot longer since they have that Omni Vamp. And then for Volibear's case, Double Titans would be the best, is because this item actually gives him a lot of sustain, so he can actually like survive a lot longer in fights so therefore if you have two times is very good but if you can't get a second times yeah, a good alternative would be crown guard this item is actually very powerful in volley bear because it gives him a shield and it gives him ap and since his ability is ap based therefore more ap on that the more damage it does and more lifesteal his other pretty decent alternative item would be adaptive helm this item gives him enough tankiness like titans but the thing about this item is for every unit that hits him he will gain 1 mana per auto attack, so therefore he can keep casting more and more. So this helps a lot, so he can keep that sustain going. And then next to that, it would be Steadfast Heart. This item is okay. The problem is, the meta is mostly AP based, and this item is armor based. So therefore, it's more for towards AD units. The passive of this item is actually really good in Volibear in general, because he takes damage reduction. So therefore, if you have this item on Volibear, he will take less damage from almost every source. And then for Orin Artifacts for Volibear, a really good one would be Death Defiance. Like Steadfast Heart, he'll take damage reduction, but the good thing about this item is it gives you Ami Vamp as well. So, not only that he takes damage reduction, but he can also lifesteal it back. Another good item for Volibear would be Horizon Focus. It's only good on two units in this current set, which is Nautilus and Volibear. The reason why it's pretty decent on Volibear because it gives him some AP, it gives him some defense stats, and it gives him damage if he stuns a unit, so he'll almost delete that unit having this item. And another pretty decent one would be Zonia's. This item will make Volibear last a lot longer in the board because he will become unvulnerable for a couple of seconds so he can gain back all his HP during that duration. And it gives him some AP and armor. And if you're not going to play Volibear as a carry, you can play him as a tank. So instead, you can play for Kiana and Lee Sin carry. They both use the same items, but depending how you want to play Duelist board, it's depending on certain circumstances, which I'll explain later in the video. But essentially, they use the same items. So the best on slot is Bloodthirster Titans. Same reason like Volibear is really good on melee units, so it can make them last longer gives them sustain and extra damage but the thing compared to volibear is they use hodge this item is actually very powerful on them because it gives them extra damage gives them more army vamp and it gives them some crit so if they do auto they can have that high crit chance if you cannot build one of the army vamp items which you do need by the way so you need either blood or hodge but if you only have one of them it's fine because you can build alternative items such as edge of knight this item will make them last longer in fight because if they hit a certain amount of hp they'll become invulnerable for a couple seconds and untargetable so therefore they will target a different unit for example tank volibear another good item would be for specifically Lee Sin, but it's actually pretty good on Kiana as well, which is Theric's Gauge. This item is actually pretty good for them because when they hit a certain amount of HP, which is like 50% HP, they will gain more AD and more max health, so if they lifesteal it back, they could potentially have more HP than what they started with. And the next up is QSS. This item is not too strong, but like if you have to slam it because you can't build any other item after Raptors, this is an okay item to have because it'll make them have non-CC, so they can't get stunned or anything. So therefore, having this item can make them auto-attack more. Alright, for Orn Artifacts, I know this is a lot to look at, but I'll explain each one as best as I can. So for Death Defiance, it's actually pretty good on Kiana and Lee Sin, same reason like Volibear, gives them damage reduction, and also gives them some Ami Vamp, which is really good for melee units. Rapid Fire Cannon is very powerful on Kiana and Lee Sin because it makes their ability hit pretty far as well, and they also can auto-attack from almost across the map, so the more units they kill, the more range they get. Therefore, they can just snipe them from across the map. And then Trinity Force is a really good melee item overall for AD units specifically. It is pretty good on Volibear, even though he's AP. It's still pretty good on him since this item gives you all sorts of stats. So therefore, you can last longer fights and do extra damage. And then Mittens is actually really good for Kiana and Lee Sin because it makes them unable to get chilled. So you turn to Winter, does it work on them? And they get a lot of attack speed, so you keep hitting over and over. Follow's Call is another good melee item because this item allows you to take away all the debuffs that is thrown on you. And on top of that, you can actually do extra damage and you also fly towards enemies after you kill one. And Spectre Cutlass is a very good cheese melee item because what this item does is it allows your front line to go to the back line. So therefore you can assassinate whoever is in the back line. And then lastly, a good sub DPS would be Tristana. She's a very good secondary carry to have on the board because you can put whatever 80 items that you have left over on her. And her best in slot would be having a Runa's Hurricane. This item gives her enough attack speed. And on top of that, it gives her plus one hit on the board. So therefore she can have AoE while she's auto attacking. A very good damage item on her would be like Death Dance. This item is actually very powerful on her because it gives her flat AD and her ability gives her even more AD for every time she jumps. And then because she's a backline unit and more of a sub DPS, not a main carry, having a gunblade on her is very good because you can keep healing the board. So 
duelists can last a lot longer on your field. Other good alternative items if you cannot build the BIS stuff, having a giant slayer is very good on Tirsana because it makes her kill tanks a lot quicker, so it allows Lisa, Kiana, and Volibear to run through the boards a lot faster. And then Guardbreaker is a very good item on Tristana because most of the time having a glove and a belt is pretty bad to have on duelists, but if you slam this on with Tristana, it's very strong on her since it gives her damage and it gives her attack speed. And fun fact about this item for Tristana, it has a really high win rate on her. If you cannot build those specific ones, but having Edge of Night is actually pretty decent on her because it allows her to last longer in fights, so therefore she can just keep dishing on damage. And then for her best Orn artifacts would be anything that can give her attack speed or debuff, like for example Curse Blade is very powerful right now and is brand new to this patch. This item makes units that she hits to turn into level 3 to level 2 or level 2 to level 1. Basically they're casing their level, so it makes your frontline kill them a lot quicker since they're going to be a lot more squishier. And then having a Wit Sense pretty decent on Tristana because it's an attack speed item and gives her magic damage on hit as well, and it gives her Omni Vamp so it's not bad to have on her. Whatever position you see here, it does not matter at all. And then for the units, I will explain each one for specific carries, but for this one it's going to be Lee Sin carry. Honestly, I would say this version is probably like the best one since Lee Sin is very powerful right now at the moment in the current meta, since Dragon Lord is very strong right now as well. So if you're playing for a Lee Sin carry, you want to have a, like a Volibear tank and then like a sub DPS Tristana with an Aurelia with like anti-heal such as Red Buff or Merlocon. But if you can have an Aurelia that have anti-heal, then you can just put the anti-heal on Tristana instead because Merlocon is actually pretty high win rate on Tristana since she doesn't really do much. Having the anti-heal on her actually helps a lot for the board. And then to fill up the unit, you want to play full Duelist. If you have Duelist Crest, just throw it on either Wukong or Diana. And then Diana is really good for Lee Sin since it activates that Dragon Lord. And Diana also gets Sage if you have Wukong in the board. But if you don't have Duelist Spat, then you can take out either Darius or Yasuo and throw in a Rakan so you can have three Dragon Lord. If you're not going to play Lee Sin carry, you can do Kiana carry as well, which is really good because when you hit her level 3, she's actually a very strong unit. And the position you want to play this in is if you have like 5 or more copies before you hit level 6. So therefore, when you hit level 6, you can roll down for that Kiana 3 so you can tempo into the late game very, very quickly in Fast 9. And for the rest of the units, it's the same reasoning as Lee Sin. Side note as well, for both Kiana carry and Lee Sin carry, if you can hit a Volibird 3 or Tristana 3, that would be preferred because having 6 or more duelists, you will take damage reduction for that duelist unit. So therefore, having them level 3 would help a lot. If you don't want to play for Lee Sin carry or Kiana carry, you can do damage Volibear carry instead of tank and Tristana carry as well. So how you play this comp would be like when you hit level 7, you 2 star Volibear and Tristana and you slowly hit your way to level 8 so you can 3 star Volibear and Tristana there later. The reason why you want to do it at level 8 instead of level 7 because they actually nerf the odds at level 7 for 3 cost units is actually a lot better to do the odds at level 8 to 3 star these units. And on top of that, if you do hit an Aurelia, it's actually a plus because it gives you armor break that is actually really good on Duelist. And then you have leftover 80 items, you can throw it on Lee Sin. And then to fill up the units, the same reasoning as Kiana and Lee Sin. In order to play that cap late game board, you also have to learn how to play the early game. So the best early game would be having a Darius carry with the Volibear, Lee Sin, Kiana items on him. And then you have a Kiana on the side, most of the time will be level 1. If you get her level 2, that's a plus. And then you have Yorick in, so you can have that early Umbro, since Umbro is actually very powerful in the early game. And then you can throw in a Malphite to get that Behemoth with Yorick, so you can also get Heavenly with Malphite and Kiana. And then over time, you just want to fill up this board with more and more Duelists. If you can't do the Darius carry opener, you can also do the Faded Yasuo opener as well. They actually buffed him pretty well this patch, so therefore having him as a carry early game is actually not that bad. And then you just fill up the board with like the Faded units such as Yasuo, Ari, and Kindred. And then since Kindred is a Dryad, if you have a Rek'Sai 2, it's pretty good plus as well. And then you can throw in a plus one Bruiser. Or if not, you can throw in a Darius and just fill up the board of Duelists over time, taking out Rek'Sai, Kindred, and Ari. Another good opener, if you cannot do any of those openers, having a Story Over opener is not bad either, where you have like a Silver 2 and a Garen 2, and you just put the Duelist items on Garen 2, since he's actually a pretty strong unit, but they did nerf his max mana, so therefore he would cast less and less, but he'll still be a pretty strong unit overall, and you just put Garen with having a Warden with Jax, and then if you have Riven in or a Zyra in, that's pretty good too, so you can have that Story Over activated to throw in Kale, and if for Kale, you want to throw green on her, if you're playing for the Duelist route. And then for the best arguments you could take for Duelist would be Extended Duel, it's actually only specifically for Duel what this augment does is it gives them more army vamp and they start with extra stacks on their duelist attack speed and then obviously duelist crest is actually pretty good because if you have eight duelists and that means you have more damage reduction and more attack speed keepers is also really good for duelists because you can clump all the duelists together so they can take more damage reduction since they'll get shield and then speaking of damage reduction having unified resistance is actually pretty good overall too since you're playing in a straight line for duelists having this augment is actually very powerful on them because it gives them more armor and magic uses and then another pretty good defense one will be combat caster since duelists is actually casting pretty often having this extra shield will make them last longer in fights and a gargachan resolve is actually pretty good not because of the gargachan augment itself it's more because you can get a free times resolve and that is it for my duelist comp guide if you have any questions or if you want me to cover any other comps just let me know down in the comment section down below until then i'll see you guys next time later